What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a cool little gift for somebody like say Mother's Day that's coming up pretty soon, uh, like on the 15th. I'm going to show you how to print out one of these Lithioplane uh, boxes here, uh, well one of these boxes for the Lithioplane cards that will go in there. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these too, which is really, really simple and uh, it doesn't require any special software or anything like that. Maybe you might actually already have it. Uh, so the links are going to be in the description below for the Cura software and uh, for the, um, the Thingiverse file here as well. Now when printing out your parts, it's not really that many. Uh, you've got the bottom piece, you've got the four poles, you've got the diffuser, and you've got the top piece. And it's pretty straightforward how it goes together, really you uh this is the bottom sticks in four sides that then after you make your five cards you slide your cards into the slots on all five sides you know well four sides and then on the top here you have your diffuser that house your LED light strip or your light source or whatever you want. That's gonna be in part two actually because uh, over my bench I have a ton of different possibilities that I'm trying to work out how I wanna light this thing. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty straightforward on that. So let's go ahead and finish getting our parts printed and then we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, when printing out these parts, uh, I used 100% infill on all of my parts here just because I just wanted to make sure that it was a nice sturdy um, piece. You never know where it's gonna be. If you give it out to somebody, it can be in a garage or a high environment. I use PLA plastic uh, just because it's the easiest to print out. And one thing to note out is you're gonna have uh, in the video, the print is actually white. Um, I used white filament to print out the first one, but uh, for some reason, the printer actually goofed and plunged into the uh, part for whatever reason. The NG code is to home the X axis. That means when it stops, the NG code says home the X axis. That means it just moves out of the way. But uh, for some reason it decided to go down instead. So that was a glitch on that part. But we're gonna keep the diffuser white, but also have some clear filament as well. So I might experiment with, uh, you know, using the white filament or the uh, clear for the diffuser. All right, well, total fail. Uh, I got done printing all the parts. Well, I almost got done printing all the parts. This was the last piece. This was the top part to this project. And for whatever reason, my uh, the printer unexpectedly plunged down into this part. Um, I have no clue why. When it's finished printing, the G-code is to home the uh, X-axis. In other words, when it stops printing, everything stops. This slams over this way and hits the stop switch. It homes the X-axis. Um, but for whatever reason, when it got done, it plunged down into the part. And I had uh, just enough white. To, um, to do the project and then I was going to do the uh, other parts, the lithioplane parts using translucent uh, filament. But uh, I've got just enough black to um, reprint the box and um, you know all these parts. You can see I've got the bottom piece here and uh, these pieces. So alright yeah let's continue on I guess. Alright guys, now that you have all your parts uh, printed off of your 3D printer and you've got your box and it looks something like this. You've got the bottom, the four poles go into the hole, then uh, you have your top, it goes on like that. Well, I'm going to show you how to make the uh, lithioplane, it looks like a skeleton, looks freaky on that part, but the uh, this is a lithioplane and what it is, when you look at it through the light, let me get a flashlight. It'll show an image. No, that is not working. Anyways, moving on. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make one of those and it looks really, really cool. And it's really simple. Let me show you. 
Um, I'm using Photoshop because that's just a thing. And let's go ahead and start the project. New. For this, you're gonna want um, 80 by 80 on the sides and top. So if you don't know how to do that, you'll just go to millimeters. Um, it's 80 millimeters, by the way, 80 by 80. So width, height, 80. Don't worry about anything right here. Create. And this already has our work area where we're gonna uh, wanna have our image in. This is already 80 by 80. Then we're gonna go to wherever your image may be. And this is just a stock image off of uh, Google. So you can use a family portrait, um, your pets, your animals, whatever you want. But um, I'm doing this as a Mother's Day uh, gift, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Let's zoom in. Well, let's place the file first. Zoom in. And we're gonna want to crop it out and quick selection tool actually before we do that because we're, we're going to want to border around it so that way it fits into the grooves here on all four sides uh, so we're going to move the image up a little bit about something like that there we go now we can go Yes, place. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. Quick selection, and we're gonna just crop it out. All right, that looks pretty good. Select in mask. Let's go to uh, smooth. Let's go around 50 per 50 or so. Just to smooth out those edges just a little bit. Good, something like that. Select OK. Select layer mask, and bam, just like that. File, export, quick, export as PNG. And let's go uh, to test two. Name it whatever you want, but for video's sake. Um, as you can see, I've already did test before this. All right, let's close that out. And this is Cura. This is uh, version 15.04. Or is that, hold on. Bound. Yep, 15.04. Now this is pretty important uh, on your settings. Layer height, I have it at uh, 0 0.1. Shell thickness, uh, 0 0.8. Enable retraction, the reason why I do that is for these uh, really high detailed areas when it's moving from area to area. I want it to, uh, retract so that way it's not oozing anything out uh, the fill bottom that's fine uh, 0 0.6 infill density for this you're going to want to have it at 100 um, print speed 100 printing temperature uh, for the clear filament and for most PLA I do uh, 210 anyways my bed temperature I keep at 60 um, to keep it down and uh, just in case you don't know, Cura is a slicer. And the reason why I like using Cura for this particular object and not um, uh, Slicer or Slicex or whatever you want to call it is uh, it's a really good detail where I can see what my image is actually going to look like. Support material, none. And your filament diameter, um, obviously whatever your filament is, uh, you know, it could be three millimeter. Uh, but the standard for my 3D printer and for a lot of other ones is uh, 0.175 but you can also take your micrometer and your filament and you can measure your uh, within the span of like five feet of your filament and get like an average of that if you want to get super picky into that um, here the flow is at 100% but I can also adjust my flow um, right from the 3d printer as well and that's really important sometimes 
we're going to go on go up here to low file and test two open uh, convert image this is converting the image into uh in so that way it's something that the 3d printer can um, use height on this we're going to want five mil the base you want to keep at one width 80 by 80 so 80 by 80 uh, darker is higher so keep it there and uh, you don't want no smoothing enabled there you go that's what it looks like so when the light shines through the back of it it gives you an image just like that so when you put your lithio plane in the box something like that you got your top on it and you have your light with your diffuser like a like a LED strip inside of it or uh, some kind of light will shine through the lithium plane and give you that really cool effect and you see it's gonna take one hour 55 minutes um, 6.27 meter of your filament 19 grams you can save your tool path test two then you can open up you know prompt face repeater host or uh, whatever other uh, software you use to run your CNC machine then we can load the image There we go, something like that. Then uh, all you literally have to do is click print. Your uh, heater will heat up and your 3D printer will do whatever you need to do and you'll come out with one of these. So if uh, you find this information useful, give me a like. If you really like my uh, channel and what I do, give me a subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.